The brainstem consists of the medulla oblongata, the pons, and the midbrain. This is a ventral view, anterior view of the brainstem, showing the medulla oblongata. Upwards, there is a clear sulcus separating it from the pons. Here is the pons, and then the midbrain. The pons derives its, uh, its name from its shape, looking like a bridge. Even it shows transversely running fibers in here, but these are not the only fibers which are present in the pons. The pons has nuclei, has projecting fibers, but it looks like a bridge that connects between the two cerebellar hemispheres by the middle cerebellar peduncles. Here is the middle cerebellar peduncle. The line of demarcation between the pons and the middle cerebellar peduncle is the attachment of the roots of the trigeminal nerve. Here again, the small medial motor root and the large lateral sensory root of the trigeminal nerve. This part of the pons is called the basal part of the pons and is characterized by a groove here, a basilar groove. This groove is where the basilar artery is located. You can see here the basilar artery is formed by the union of the two vertebral arteries. They unite at the junction of the medulla and pons and it continues upwards until it reaches the level of the midbrain where it divides into two terminal branches. We can see here the posterior cerebral arteries and before that it gives the superior cerebellar arteries between the posterior cerebral and the superior cerebellar arteries uh, we can see here the attachment or the fibers of the oculomotor nerve are located here posteriorly we can see these three bundles of white matter these are the cerebellar peduncles superior cerebellar peduncle from the midbrain so this is a superior cerebellar peduncle a middle cerebellar peduncle which comes from the pons this is the middle cerebellar peduncle and medial to the middle cerebellar peduncle is the inferior cerebellar peduncle which connects the medulla oblongata to the cerebellum if we look at the floor of the fourth ventricle we will see that it is diamond in shape and that's why the region here is called the rhomboid fossa there is a median sulcus that divides it into uh, two halves. And here at the lateral recess, this is the region of the lateral recess of the sulcus, we can see some collection of choroid plexus. This is the choroid plexus of the fourth ventricle that passes through the lateral recess of the fourth ventricle and uh, appears an, an anteriorly through a foramen, a lateral foramen, of Lushka that connects the fourth ventricle with the subarachnoid space at the region of the cerebellopontine angle. Now in the region between the medulla and the pons is the abducent nerve, sixocranial nerve. And specifically it's between the pyramid and the pons, the abducent nerve. Here is the region of the cerebellopontine angle again, and uh, you can see also between the pyramid, uh, between the medulla and the pons, uh, there are the fibers of the um, emerging, the fibers of the facial, which is more medial here, facial nerve, and then the vestibulocochlear nerve. So the fibers of the facial and vestibulocochlear nerves. Are located in here and in between them is the nervous intermedius some of the choroid plexus can be seen here at the cerebellopontine angle as well in the part of the fourth ventricle the upper part of the floor of the fourth ventricle that is formed by the pons we can see here uh, that there is another sulcus which is called the sulcus limitans and uh, this divides the area into a median eminence the lower part of the median eminence here is called the facial colliculus uh, deep to the facial colliculus are the fibers of the facial nerve that uh, loop around the nucleus of the abducent nerve that's why it's called the facial colliculus because deep to it the nucleus actually deep to it the nucleus is the nucleus of the abducens but the fibers that are looping around the nucleus of the abducens are the fibers of the facial nerve. Lateral to this sulcus limitans, the area here is the vestibular trigon and a 
This marks the location of the vestibular nuclei, which are distributed in the upper part of the medulla and the lower part of the pons. We can see here the superior uh, cerebellar peduncle on each side and in between them, this area of glial tissue, thin area, which is called the superior medullary velum, on which the lingula of the cerebellum rests.